The yeas are 50, the nays are 50. The Senate being equally divided, the Vice President votes in the affirmative, and the bill, as amended, is passed. On Sunday, when the uh, U.S. Senate passed sweeping legislation on climate change, higher taxes for the very wealthy, and the right for the government to negotiate prices on some drugs, North Dakota's Republican Senators Kevin Kramer and John Hoven voted no on the opportunity to cap insulin costs for diabetics at $35. The American Diabetes Association says 54,000 North Dakotans suffer from diabetes. The current legislation, now awaiting approval in the House, still includes a $35 cap for insulin costs for those on Medicare, but everyone else is left out. In blanket statements, both Senators uh, Kramer and Hoven said uh, they were against the overall bill because it raised spending and taxes. However, the Congressional Budget Office says the cost of the bill is paid for and more by the increase in taxes on the very wealthy. We've reached out to Senators Kramer and Hoven for comment on why they voted no on legislation to cap insulin costs at $35 for everyone. We'll have that for you if and when we get it. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.